It is a catastrophe to lose your ability to express yourself. I find this concept of not feeling comfortable bringing your whole self to work especially powerful personally because it was my story too. During the years that I was an employee in corporate America, I held back, afraid to tell my truth for fear of being judged. I think of it like an iceberg. The energy it takes to suppress our truth is like paying an extra tax on being different. We're spending energy navigating this dilemma between safety and authenticity, and that energy could be spent building our professional and personal successes. So there are visible and invisible aspects of diversity in all of us, and I am no different. I'm often asked, what in the world are you doing as a diversity consultant? I'm a white woman from an affluent background. Um, the advantages of my socioeconomic background and my ethnicity were not earned by me, but I have come to recognize them as powerful tools for change. I can get into rooms and have conversations that other people can't. I will be listened to in a different way. Even in a room that looks like this. When I wrap up my session, somebody will sneak by me and say, thank you, quietly to me. That's how I know that I have to keep going with this work. I will not be called strident or a troublemaker behind my back. So far from surrendering to inequality, which I will never do, I am choosing to utilize my voice on behalf of others, and I believe that it's the least we can do. I hear leaders say, I'm, I'm well-intended, I really believe in diversity, uh, what can I do? I always say intent is not enough. Intent does not build diverse organizations. You must put it into action and build accountability around it for yourself and for others that you work with. My advice, of course, never take your voice for granted. Challenge yourself to bring more of your full self to work every day. If you are not uncomfortable, uh, you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough in terms of being aware of your own bias. Think about inspiring others, not just with your job performance and how hard you work, but who you are, what your story is, where you came from, what shaped you, the challenges you faced, what made you who you are. This isn't quotas, it's not required, but it's really, really good for business and it's very important that you start to build habits in this arena. Diversity is good for business and the bottom line. But we will need more. More voices, more courage, more acts of inclusion for the road ahead. So I'd like to ask all of you to think about where you are in that continuum. And if 50% of this room is covering right now, I don't want to live in that kind of world. And I hope that you'll join me in fixing it. Thank you so much.